it's kind of difficult to pick a moment because I, I was I was very lucky in um, in my growing up in Meridian, Mississippi, in that I, I grew up in a in a family that really appreciated the arts and of of all kinds. And so from the very beginning, I was sort of encouraged to to dream and 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 appreciate performance and poetry and and film and. Um, so that's just kind of always been a part of the way I interact with the world. Um, but a, a, something that crystallizes it for me is um, my father used to be a promoter, and he 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 was a performer a bit when he was young younger. But he kind of gave up performing uh, around the time that the kids came along. But he took it as a mission to bring great entertainment to our little town, to Meridian, Mississippi. And we have a beautiful old theater there that holds about 1,600 people built in the 20s. So he would put on, um, he would put on an arts festival there every spring. And this was in the late 60s and through the 70s, through the 80s. So this was a time when there were a lot of legends like still out there on the road all the time. So I grew up getting to watch from the wings people like I saw Ray Charles when I was, you know, seven or eight years old and, and Tony Bennett played there and he would he would keep it pretty di diverse where it'd be a month long series on the weekends and every night there would be a different type of artist. So one night there might be an R&B artist, one night there might be something kind of like a vegas -y kind of thing for the older crowd. Occasionally some rock and roll, not, not that often, but some, sometimes. Uh, and then maybe a, a play. So I got to see a lot of legends uh, and, and watch them from the side of the stage. But one, one of my favorite nights was um, uh, Gladys Knight performed. And I was probably, I want to say I was six years old, maybe. And I would, whenever these shows would happen, I would be down at the theater all day long. I'd be there when the stage hands arrived. I'd be there when the ticket office opened, because I just wanted to be a part of it all. I wanted to, I wanted to just be in every corner of this, of this event. Um, so I remember, um, I remember Gladys Knight and her, and the Pips, and and the band arriving, in their street clothes and showing up, you know, early in the day and getting settled and going to their dressing room, and and, um, and then hanging out like on the side of the stage. And I used to love to watch the crowd taking their seats from the side of the stage, from like kind of like peeking around the curtain and watching everybody get settled and, and the excitement building and the sort of that magic bristling feeling kind of f filling the room. Um, and I'll never forget standing there watching that and turning, this was just you know minutes before the show started and seeing Gladys Knight in her sparkly silver gown looking like a star and it was that that moment just it was the first time I remember being in the presence of true magic and watching her hear her name announced by the announcer and walk out onto the stage the spotlight hits her and then she's just transformed into this like almost otherworldly being and of course that voice you know hearing that voice so whenever I hear her on the radio I remember that moment and it opened up I mean I was already being uh, exposed to you know the magic of of performance but that moment was really the first time I remember it sort of entering my consciousness in a in a active way and it has you know that among many other moments in that theater has everything to do with with what I what I do now <laughs>